Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Dman Tech, on how we can render out wireframe. Okay, so to illustrate this, I have the head of the scientist from the Creating Cartoon Characters in 3DS Max course. Now, to set this to set as wireframe, what I want to do is to first come to rendering and open up our material editor. You know, as we can also hit the hotkey M to open that up. Okay, so in my material editor, I'm going to choose uh, one of these materials. Now, right now I just have all of them at default. So I'm going to just choose the first one here and tell the basic shader parameters to be a wireframe shader. So right now you can see it's already applied. If you don't have this shader applied, you can easily just uh, select your shader, go to material, and assign to selection. Okay, so with our wireframe shader on there, let's just take a quick render to see how this looks. And let me uh, move this down a little bit. And right now it doesn't look like anything has rendered. Well, the reason for that is because we don't have any lights or anything like that set up in our scene. But if we take a look at our alpha channel, we have our wireframe alpha that we could easily pull into whatever compositing application we need in order to get our wireframe. Now we can take this a little bit further if we wanted to say have two sided. So if we see now, we can't see the wireframe on the back side. So if we check two sided and go ahead and re-render this, we can see that now we're getting the background or the wireframe in the, on the back of our object here. So it's uh, creating a much more dense wireframe render for us. But if we also notice this is very dense compared to the wireframe in our viewport. Now, the reason for that is because on this particular model, I have a mesh smooth modifier applied. So if I were to turn that modifier off, then it won't render that modifier. So I'll just go ahead and render this back out now. And then hop over to our alpha. We can see that we're rendering out the low resolution mesh instead of the smooth mesh. So that's just a quick look at how we can set up a wireframe render inside of 3ds Max.